says he shouldn't be talking to NPCs anyway, whatever that means. <laughs> uh, Mordred, collector of cursed curiosities at your service, he says. Sweeping off the top hat in an elaborate bow, the pirate Moreland wrong eye intrigues me. He lost his right eye to an arrow, but wears his patch over the left. And is yet a serviceable archer. I want that eye patch. After a pleasant interview, Ignis presents the party with a scroll case. I anticipate great things in our new partnership, he says. Everything for your first assignment in this case. Consider this test. Do well and more will follow. The party passes a little too close to an ancient tomb and a wraith rises. Oh my goodness. Ah, but we defeat it. The heroes defeat the wraith, which slinks back to its tomb to wait the next passerby. The straps of Gerson's ratty pack finally snap. Some repairs are needed. Yay! He manages to repair the straps with a needle and thread, only managing to stab his finger a few times. <laughs> The wind shifts and a cool breeze makes the party wish they brought blankets. I never thought I'd be so happy to see the frog. It's become a second home to me. Not that I have a first home, but you know what I'm saying. Alright. One day, made some stuff, made some money. Um, we're going to say 15 for you guys. The, um, the abominable snow ape. A supply wagon headed for Winter Flame Workshop was found destroyed near the lair of the abom abominable snow ape. Vital toy making materials. <laughs> Vital toy making materials were taken and the head builder, a rehabilitation rehabilitated netherling by the name of Flustercap has gone missing. Recover the stolen goods, rescue uh, Flustercap, and save the holiday. Oh my goodness gracious. Save our rooms for us, Barkeep. We'll be back before you know it. Oh. Oh, and they made it red. <laughs> Merkel decides to race up a large tree outside of town. Unfortunately, she slips and bounces a few branches down before Catching herself. A bit rattled, Mergle carefully climbs the rest of the way to the ground. <laughs> oh my goodness, way up the mountain. I have not had any up there before. The heroes spend the morning arguing over tactics and eventually come to blows. Oh no. Kerberg wraps Slash in a headlock, holding the politician defenseless until she calms down. Eventually, they resolve their differences and continue on. Hmm. A vagrant on the side of the road challenges Kurzrug to a race. If the vagrant... W oh, okay. We, we saw that one. And he loses this time. Oh. oh, no. As the night creeps in, Murgle senses it will be much colder than anticipated. Yeah, no kidding. You guys are totally going to lose this up. Party sets up camp for the night, but there is little in the way of usable firewood. The fire is short-lived, and the cold sweeps in. The party huddles for warmth around the fire mage's enchanted blaze to stave off frostbite. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Kurzog st uh, stubs his toe and spends the rest of the afternoon complaining about it. Strange hunched humanoids with bark-like skin emerge from the forest, wielding blades of horned ironwood. They advance in total silence. Apparently somebody saw them. The heroes hack at the strange creature's hard skin, which oozes green liquid. The critters chatter like birds and flee into the forest. Interesting. The heroes stumble upon the scene of an ancient battle. Kurzweig picks up the rusted remains of a small shield bearing a sigil, but the adventurers lack the historical knowledge to identify it. Oh, that's it. Next day. Uh, I'm not going to 
keg of mead. Oh, man, I gotta get a bunch of rats. Okay. Oh, hmm. some more quests. Oh, and welcome, of course. Here's your bread. Welcome to the tavern. There's your mead. Hmm. Another quest. Welcome to the tavern. Here's your mead. Huh? Here's your chicken wings. Your fairy water. Hmm. Of course you can stay the night. Hmm. Yes, I will have a chat. Here's your wine. Oh, you, of course you can stay the night. Oh, you want to stay the night huh? too. Okay. Oh, and so do you. Oh, and you want to oh. chit chat. Level seven! All right. Oh, you want to stay as well? All right, let's see here. Oh, we got somebody who wants some food. There you go. I need somebody who wants a bed. Oh, oh I'm full up. Oh, my goodness. I got to get some beds. Um, Let's see. Who do I like? Dwarven merchant. Speech and brains. Hmm. Priest. Hmm. Ten and four, twelve and two. That's better. Hmm. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, some chicken wings. Oh, oh, I can't. That's right. Damn, I keep doing that. Um, some chicken wings. I will listen to you, my good friend, and I'm gonna hire you. Yes. All right. Um. Oh, we do have some people I can level up. All right. Um. Yes, let's knock your social up. Knock that up. Let's do that. Okay. Trying to round them out a little better. So that I can uh, I can use them in more things, you know. No new armor. We did get a new weapon though. Um But I'm gonna try to do uh what did this sword do again? Uh, attack and brains. The priest. Outquesting. Fire mage, outquesting. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, the merchant. Yeah, no, okay. Um, okay, we'll give you a sympathy card. You have something. You have two things. You only have one. You have two. So what do we got for you? Nothing. Okay. Okay. Oh, that chisel stick does nothing. Okay. Well, let's let's look at the numbers then. Um. No. Yeah, you're probably the best one. Yep. All right. Take the over, the over overboard book. Yep. Okay. I still have three APs left. 
All right. Who can I speak to? Ooh, you. I can. Oh, man, it's hard to stay. Uh, no, we'll do chicken wings. And we will listen. I'm done. Okay. We'll go. Let's see what we can quest this time. That's the one they're out on, right? No. That's the one they're out on? No. No. That's the one they're out on. Okay, so I have another... Crane one. Four. Okay, there we go. Um, I don't know how to go back. Oh, back to the roster. Uh, nope, back to the roster. Uh, what are we looking for? Five. Still at one percent. One percent. One percent. One percent. Nope. Ooh, 25, 77, 74, 74. Huh. Man, I have a hard time with that, you know? All right. I have conversating ones, maybe? Yeah, you're pretty good. I think you have some, right? Yeah, 95. Yeah, that'll get you in there. As long as you don't bring it down, yeah, that might actually get you in level. All right, we'll do that. A better brewery mo uh, module. Cut out the middle humanoid. Hey, one rather drunken patron saddles up. Why don't you cut out the middle man and just make your own brew? That's not a bad idea. It can be. It can't be that hard. Farmers do it all the time. Let's send someone out to Redsmith. Chill in the morning breeze whips through the city streets. Better bring a second layer. The party passes man mumbling about armored mice who wield axes. The cold, damp weather makes for miserable travel. Thankfully, the only consequences are a few sniffles and muted spirits. A lanky dwarf sits outside the copper beard, bending a scrap of copper into an ornate bead. He looks up at the party. What can I do for you? Brahm smiles at the artistry of the work. We, ca we came to see if you could make us a copper brewing vat. The dwarf mutters incoherently for a few minutes in, in response, which they assume means yes. Uh, Grunson is accused of stealing a bracelet. It just fell into my pocket, he claims. During the confrontation, Grunson plants the stolen bracelet in a guard's pocket and then names him the thief. The confused guard empties his pockets upon request and is promptly taken into custody. <laughs> No, it isn't, Curtis screams. Yes, it is, Grissom screams back. Fine, Curtis takes a deep breath and composes himself. But you know I'm right. <laughs> I never thought I'd be so happy to see the frog. Okay, second home. Oh, look at that. I'm going to drop that down to 15 gold, though. Oh, just no wait. We're going to finish it up. Well, no, we're actually going to get there. It's so slow. Oh, goodness. The party comes upon a pile of debris blocking their path. I feel like we're going to be ambushed. The heroes were unable to get past the debris and were forced to wander around looking for another path. 
Oh, look through the blinky eyes. Virgo and Cursor sing a delightful song as they travel down the road. It's snowing, Virgo says, trying to catch snowflakes on her tongue. Lash shakes her, her head and pulls her cloak tighter to fend off the chill mountain wind. Oh my gosh! A loud crack stops the heroes in their tracks as the ice beneath them audibly strains under their weight. Man, I didn't bring anybody for survival. The hero sprint for the shore and Lash jumps to safety moments before the ice gives way. Kurt isn't so lucky and bunches waist deep into the icy water before the scrambling to safety. Lash quickly builds a fire to warm her shivering friend, but the priest is demoralized by the conditions and just wants to get the quest over with. Which is the here, apparently. Oh no, not yet. The heroes follow he uh, follow heavy drag marks through the snow to a large cave overlooking the village of Andar. Angry squalls greet them within as a half dozen frost buzzards look up from an elk carcass, their crystal blue eyes hungrily assessing the new prey. And we failed. Oh my goodness. Murgo unleashes a torrent of flames that clashes with the icy breath attack of the frost buzzards, creating a dense fog. The heroes blindly smash through the vultures, but Lash receives a nasty gash in her forehead. Oh, goodness gracious. Finally! Help! A high-pitched voice squeaks from another, from further down the tunnel, which trembles with each footstep of the approaching abom abominable snow ape. With a deafening roar, the mammoth creature rushes into view, moving with a grace that shouldn't be possible in a beast standing nearly twice as tall as a human. In a cage in the back of the room, a simple imp life nethering frantically waves at them. And we succeed! Yay! Over here, big fella! Drawing the frenzied ape's attention and leading it out of the cave toward the unstable ice, the priest scrambles across the ice on all fours, and the ape rushes to follow, plunging... Through into the icy water, the heroes smash the lock on uh, Flustercap's cage and hurry home before the abominable snow ape gets free. It looms over the par- oh yeah, it looms over the party. And we succeed! That's nice. We failed so many other times. <laughs> the party encounters a dwarf and an orc on the brink of a fist fight. After calming them down, Lash offers each of them some of her ale. The three walk down the path until they part ways. Each promises to see the other again soon. Oh my goodness. Cold weather makes for a miserable trouble. Yeah. I didn't bring anybody for survival stuff. I should have, I guess, doing, you know, a mountain thingy. Uh, Murgle brought uh, Buckleberry Pie along for the journey. Uh, Kurzweig states that apparent uh, apple berry is better. You know what I'm going to do? Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, okay, we'll do that. A lone knight uh, bars the adventurous path, demanding a duel. Knight fights hard, but is defeated by Murgo. Your cudgel cracks true, the knight says. A lone knight... Again? Oh, we failed this time. The knight fights hard, but is defeated by Murgo. Your cut. Okay. Oh, gotta do it next day. Still don't have a lot of money yet. We got plenty of that. I gotta buy another thing of that. Okay, nobody needs to be checked in. You. Oh, yeah, I can level you. Alright. Um, talking and brainy. So let's uh, do some brainy. 
I would have put some in combat too, but uh, next time. Uh, nope. Okay. Um. Wait, what was that sword? Oh, fighting and braining. Okay. Yeah, I know. I'm calling him whatever, you know, whatever I want. <laughs> hmm. Sparkling water. Elven wine. New person. Welcome to my tavern. Have some mead. So I guess we're going to uh -huh. do some chit-chatting with people now. Here's your chicken wings. Huh? Some porridge. Hmm. What about you there, buddy? Some mead, okay. <laughs> and some mead. Oh. Yeah. Some mead. And then mm -hmm. we're looking to put people up for the night. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get full. Hmm. Ooh. I think I did it. Oh my goodness. Yay. Oh. Hmm. You want to talk some more though, don't you? Maybe later. Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh my goodness. I always click the wrong place. Oh. Ah, you know what? Oh. Let's offer you a meal. Uh, how about a barbecue rat? Nobody's been really eating those lately. Oh. Yes, I will listen to your story. Oh, I'm all out. That's okay. Let's go to quests. Wow, uh, Snow Apes out. That doesn't have anybody. I think that's one that I couldn't do. 1%. 50%. So you provide nothing. Ooh, 95%. You provide nothing, though. I mean, it would give you XP, though, wouldn't it? Uh, you're closer, though. Yeah, for 95%. Yeah, we'll do it. Patchwork. Inside the scroll case from Ignis is an eye patch and the following note. Moreland Wrong Eye is on the shore is on shore leave at Blissful Bugbear Bathhouse. He removes his patch in the steam room. There you will exchange it. Undetected. Return his eye patch to me for your reward. Burn this note. Are we there yet? The party encounters an exhausted looking peasant woman struggling to push a cart of vegetables to market. Without a word, Catrice takes the cart handle and helps the woman push the cart. They walk in friendly silence for several miles. The adventurers notice a woman following. Okay, did the close behind. Oh, good, we succeeded. Alright, the quest. Can I get a bug? Nope, that drops it. I'm just curious if I can get it above. Oh, no, that drops it. Nope, that doesn't do anything. Just wonder if you can get above 95. Nope, apparently not. Uh, that's Moreland wrong. I All right, whispers Catrice at the bathhouse. Moreland and his crew head into the steam room, creating the opening the adventurers were waiting for. Catrice follows More Moreland into the steam room. Substitutes eye patch discreetly cupped in her hand. As promised, Moreland removes his eye patch and sets it on the bench. During a heated bit of conversation, the paladin makes the swap unseen and exit the bathhouse. The wind shifts and a cool breeze makes the party wish they had brought blankets. A man in a market offers to read Gerskin's fortune. This is probably a scam. I knew you'd say that. <laughs> 
Mistaken for ambassadors, the adventurers are invited to a banquet. The adventurers manage to pass themselves off as sophisticated diners. Remember, the little fork is for salad. Another job well done. I mean, relatively speaking. Yeah, you guys did a good job. I appreciate it. Some money. What do we got? There must be an error because this says no cash. That's kind of weird. Um, wow. Yeah, we didn't make much money on that at all. But I'll live with it. Oh, we're back to the snowman. A snow ape. Sorry. Snow ape. This is a long one. It was over a couple of days. Oh, I'm thinking about adopting a nickname. Kirkman says, well, packing up her bedroll. What do you think about Kersrug? Goblin Slayer. Kirkman re recoils at the sight of a spider. Murgle sighs, but you killed a Medusa yesterday. L uh, Lash almost trips over a small depression in the ground. Watch your step. Kershaw challenges the party with a riddle. Merkel responds, only halfway, any further, and the dog would be running out of the woods. <laughs> Lash skips as she walks, excited and hopeful for another great adventure. Oh, you guys are going to fail this. Uh, no, wait a minute. Nope, doesn't matter. Yep, you guys suck at survival. I beehive sits in a tree dripping with honey. Oh, somebody's going to be dumb. Lash climbs uh, out onto the branch with the hive only to have it snap under her weight. Hive and adventurer crash to the ground, the bees sting all the way down. Uh, my cat is stuck in a tree. Please help, a young girl says to the party, rushing to meet them. That's not really our style, Kurgan says. Oh, thank you, the girl cries, running to the tree. Kurgan climbs up the tree and grabs the cat. The creature is a, fl a, f is a flurry of hissing and scratching, and the priest loses a surprising amount of blood on the way down. The creature is safe, however. Well, that wasn't so bad. Yeah, man, that was like three days, though. And they made no money because they had no survival. Well, it's actually not too bad. I'm going to take the mountain share, though. <clears throat> I'm outfitting these adventures. I can't wait for this to get finished. I love this game. I hate the loading screen now. Alright, who needs to be checked in? Moderately wounded will put you in. What do we need to stock up on? Oh, oh, house ale. Uh, I can't put it on the menu. That's 100 for 20 servings. Hmm. Uh, I won't buy it right away. So I'll buy some of that. Yeah, I won't buy that right away. Well, you know what? I'll buy two of them. Because I think what I'm going to do is I run out of Elven Wine. I want to take that off the list. Because that costs so much. Yeah. I'm going to be a cheap place. Hmm, so the rouser, who leveled? Oh, a whole bunch of you leveled. All right. Can't level that up. Um, that should go up. That two. That should go up. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's see. Hmm. It, oh, you know what? Is that from the... That's from the longsword. Okay, so that's never going to get any better. Yeah, I think maybe I did something wrong here. 
for weapon wise. Uh, so two points. Uh, let's see, inspire and risk assessment. We will take this to ten. And this one to fourteen. Same thing with you. You know, what? we'll just make it eleven. There we go. Um. Yes, I will give you this. Because that does good for you. Nothing there. I can pair of chisel sticks. Alright, merchant. You do not have a weapon. You do. You have a bow. And that works okay. Uh, that's one of yours. That's fine for you too. No, we're going to take this off. And we're going to take that off. You have traps. Okay. Well, the robe does nothing. You know what? We're just going to get rid of that. Stuff that doesn't do anything, we're not going to we're not gonna put on people. Okay, that works for you. That works for you. And that works for you. All right, so let's go back. Is there something for the merchant? No. This is your favorite Doc Crazy Wayne wanting to thank you for being part of this Games Therapy session. If you think the session was a good one, please hit that thumbs up. You can be alerted to more Game Therapy sessions by clicking subscribe and hitting the notification button. If you want to help more games with their therapy, feel free to use the links in the description to access the Patreon page or the Streamlabs for donations. Thanks for the collaboration. I hope you come back soon for another.